Yay, Milo's joining us today. Hello, Collective. Milo, do you want to say hi to the Collective today? I missed you all. I just wanted to come on today, maybe just do a quick reading for the Collective. We're all feeling eclipse energies. Oh, are you feeling it? <laughs> I do apologize for the bags under my eyes today. My ego just wants to point that out. But those are beautiful. You know what those mean? Well, first of all, they tie me to my ancestors because I swear to goodness it just comes from my family. Like, I don't care how rested I am, I still got bags under my eyes. My mother actually had them, you know, like... <laughs> it means I've been releasing emotions. It means I've been working through triggers. It means that I've felt like... Um, Holy crap, the universe is kicking my asshole. <laughs> Does anyone feel like that? Can you drop a comment down below? Are you feeling the eclipse energies? Okay. Do you feel like, what the fuck? What? Okay. We've got to shift because, like, I'm telling you, you could have a what the fuck day. It, or you could even have just a what the fuck 10 minutes. You could have a what the fuck six hours. I don't know. Like I had a what the fuck day. But these what the fuck days are about like um, you asked for change in your life. You're doing the work. You're healing. You're a new you. And so what is not at your vibration anymore is exiting your life. It's energy. Okay. And you could be dealing with triggers that surround control, holding on, okay? The universe is not against you. You've got to go within and see, because we're, we're kind of being tested too. Like, do you want to, I'm going to have this same sort of event happen. Do you want to react in the old unhealed way or do you want to, have you learned your lesson and are you going to, now you're at a different awareness, a higher awareness, a higher frequency, right? So now we, once you react differently at a, a more healed, unconditional love for yourself, then things really start moving. <laughs> okay. So the universe is kicking your ass for a reason because well, that's a lot. You asked for it. You asked, not for the ask. It's not an ass kicking. You asked for change. You asked for, you knew. You've been doing the work. Okay? So allow the old to fall away because that's eclipse. It's eclipsing out. And it's a season. It's not just one day, y'all. Like, so we're going to be feeling it. Mindful, mindfulness practices. Staying in your center, you know, while the storm is happening. Okay, and do not hold back your emotions. Okay, you could even be experiencing dreams or repressed memories of things that you like. Whoa, I had no idea that wound was so deep. Okay, don't hide from it, sit in it, allow it. Okay, because like today is a completely different day than it was yesterday for me. Okay. And in yesterday's events where I felt triggered, I instinctually, by the way, went back to try to be an old way, as in an addictive pattern I had, as in, you know, I was sad and felt abandoned and alone. And even the word ostracized kept coming out of my language and feeling shamed, ashamed of the anger that I had and, you know, ashamed of expressing it in such such a, oh, man, I haven't expressed my anger since I was a child. So there's um, a lot of uh, vulgarity and vileness that comes out, you know. And so then I feel guilt and shame afterwards, you know. And so it was just a day of, oh, I got to sit in this darkness. I got to sit in it. This is me. 
and the things that I still am working on and that my heart needs to heal. And I allow the healing and I allow the emotions to come out and the whales and the fucking, it's like mother whales that are coming out of me, like screams and sounds and things like that. Yes. But I tried an old thing. Like I was like, oh, I'm sad today. I'm going to get a case of beer and I'm going to have, you know, because that was an old addictive pattern. And one that I really feel proud in, in that I'm conquering because as I keep trying to go back to that old little habit and these darker, darker times that I have, it's like it doesn't satiate. It doesn't feel good. It's not me. It's the new me trying an old trick and it don't work. Huh. Then, then that shows me that I've even healed. And it may not be a fucking giant leap yet, but I can see the fucking growth. So, uh fuck you and a fuck you too and a like that's how I am anymore I'm like whoa I'm doing it I see me in my own growth and I appreciate the fucking triggers and we need to not be so judgmental and we need to show mercy and compassion during this time for people who are being authentic who have taken off even this spiritual fucking mask. I'm so fucking tired of it. Just like, stop hiding behind it. Stop hiding behind it. Yes, I know you're a beautiful spiritual soul, but stop fucking hiding behind it. Let's fucking bust it open and, and let's fucking do the real healing because that's where the fucking miracles come in and I've been telling you all, well, maybe I haven't, but I'm seeing the miracles. And this is the time of our life that to witness one, to hear of them and to then speak them. Come on, come on. Why do we continue to talk, tell the same fucking story about the bad, bad, bad and the victim shit that has happened to us? I get it. I've been doing the same. I'm living it. I'm breathing it. What the collective is doing, okay? And we can transmute it and we can heal it. But we can't deny those fucking feelings to begin with and just fucking shove it under the rug or not be in it. You gotta be in it. You gotta go in it to heal it. Oh, <laughs> God, dick. I love you, Oma. I love you, Oma. That is my Oma. Ooh, it's a fire. You fucking fucking fire. I'm telling you. <laughs> You're getting one heart. Look at that. <laughs> and, uh, I love you, CeeLo Green. You're keeping me pumping. And it's just that part. I don't care what any of the other song says. It's just that fuck you in it. And it's not, it's a fuck you love because it's like, ah. I see you. I see you struggling. Me too. But guess what? I got to do me. And that's what people are showing me too. It's been all around me, you know, and I got to sh like, okay, now when we're going to look at selfishness now in a different way. And what is this jealousy about? We're going to look at it in a deeper way. And where is that fucking root and dig out that fucking root that I love you guys. <sighs> It's a new me. Ah, I can't. Okay. I can see clearly, but I lost my glasses. So stand by, platoon. I got to get my glasses. Fuck you and the fuck you too and the and it's important to get up and dance and move around. It's important to connect with the water right now, okay? Take a shower. Get out in the sunshine, too. That's super important, okay? My little cactus that I'm growing is always inspiring me. You know, the cactus just it loves that sunshine. It takes very little water, you know? But I saw new growth. New growth on my little baby cactus today. And blossoms, too. And so, the little baby cactus, it was a moon cactus, by the way. And I killed the moon blossom on top of it and overwatered it when I first got it. And I didn't give up on that little motherfucker. I was like, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to save it because it still had a beautiful stalk, a beautiful taproot, a beautiful root. I'm going to save it. I'm going to love it. I'm going to nurture it. I'm going to give it what it fucking needs, right? It needs the sun. It needs the sun. It needs just a little bit of water. You know, like we are new beings. So we've got to find, we've got to figure out the new way we work, right? And those processed foods, I'm telling you, they ain't going to give you the... Think about these processed foods and what they're created, who they're created by. Who serves them? Are these people happy working in fast food? No. 
They fill the food with angriness. They fill the food with fucking, I don't have enough. I have to fucking work here. They fill the food with that victim mentality and that lower vibrational food that we're just all fucking, 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 fucking. I'm so, like, we're addicted to it. Yeah, it's hard with those addictions, and that is the food, you know? But I guarantee, like, if you just take a break, a day, like, don't cold turkey it, you know? Shit, every once in a while, fucking, I'm sorry, a Big Mac tastes good after I haven't had one for, like, two months. Okay? And you will get those cravings, okay? But you're somebody new now, right? And so you're doing different things to show the universe, like, yep, I, I appreciate and I'm loving me. And this is what radical self-love is. This is, yep. Selfishness is important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely is. Okay. Within the transcendental realm of your soul, there are endless universes, each conceivably vast and at the same time inconceivably small. Even in the tiniest particle of subatomic matter, there is an endless expansion. Creation is a cosmic motion picture in which you are both the director and actor. Look within and express outwardly the endless waves of love within you. May your love embrace the earth and fill all of creation. Okay? You've got to remember that you're both the actor and the director. Okay? Look within and express outwardly. It's you produce endless waves. I mean, look at look at the power of this. I mean, it's all I can see here is this solar expansion. I mean, it kind of even matches my fucking shirt today. It's like <gasps> you gotta laugh at yourself. You got to embrace that child heart again. Okay, you gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta. I don't know what else to tell you. You gotta, you gotta find that kid again. Okay, what else? I rambled on for eleven minutes. Hi, y'all. Welcome. This is Gwen, the new Gwen today. I do these readings for you all. My Milo's going crazy for you all uh, because I enjoy it. Because I love connecting with my tribe and giving them inspiration. Even, like, I hold the lantern, even in my own darkness for other people. I fucking see you. Okay? All right. What do you want to tell the collective today? Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mother Universal Energy. Father Universal Energy. Galactic team. Ancient elders. Ancestors. God, thank you so much for helping me to provide information to the collective let me say what you want me to say and not what my ego does. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my followers. What is coming up for the collective? What do they need to hear today? Yeah, there's that, there's that. Fuck you and a fuck you too and a there it is. That's my, that is my magic card in my deck now. And I love seeing this red cape. And look at you standing on that mountaintop. Ooh, Milo's so fired up over here. Yes, yeah, she's got the zoomies for you because this is like, look at all these people's opinions and maybe even words or energy that could be being projected at you. And you're just like, no, man, I do me. I have a great vantage point from here. I see things so clearly. I'm doing me. I'm full of my red cape, my passions, right? And I'm going to do me. And it, guess what? You're manifesting. You're manifesting as we, as you speak it, okay? Think about the power that's come through me through this reading, y'all. Right, right? So this is what happens when we go into our pain. We come out fucking powerful. Nine, this is emotional fulfillment. This is wish fulfillment. This is your nine of cups. Yes. Ah, I trust in divine timing. There is no need to rush. I'm exactly where I need to be. In this moment, I'm, yep, even in that shit storm you think you're in, you're supposed to be there. Oh. Ace of Cups, it's a divine love. That's the first one that flew out, and it's in the future. It's coming, okay? Over here, when my cards fly and fall into, <clears throat> fall into the floor, that means on this left side, that's in the past. Things that fall on the table are right here in the motherfucking present, and that's you manifesting being super passionate about what you stand for now. Lots of fire energy here and emotions with the nine of cups. Okay. 
And here it is your wish fulfillment coming. It's coming, but it fell over here on the right. So it is in the future. Trust, have faith. Okay. You will be no longer feeling trapped in a situation. This is Eight of Swords. You know that you've been, it's almost a mental sabotage, mental blocks for these, this manifestation. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are sovereign. Yeah, it's Eight of Swords. Release. This is release when it's reversed. You're releasing this. The fears, the anxiety, the sleeplessness, because there it is. There's the Nine of Swords. You've been sleepless, worried. Look what's right behind that. Release your worry. Give it to God. Give it to your angels. The sun, the adventure, the new is coming, okay? Shaw, babies. And you're so super passionate about it. Nine of Wands, time to move forward. Bold, charismatic, driven. The new you is magnetic. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Um, I've got some more truth or lie readings to do today. Um, and that's starting with Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Okay. And um, next week's question for the week is going to be, um, what did I say? Eh, it'll be a surprise. I can't think of it right now. And that's the greatest thing about, like, when you can't think. It's like, mm, the answers will come in divine timing. Okay? Shut off your brain for a little while. Tune into your heart. What are you passionate about? Start visualizing it. I mean, the eclipse is here to eclipse shit out. Right? And so there is room and flow to for more to flow into your life. So I'm going to leave it there and stop rambling. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. And... Uh, what's that about Mercury being in Gemini right now? <laughs> 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 <laughs>